Okay, it's been quite a while since we've done an update on our Bentley generator project, but uh, we've been in again at the weekend and think we're at a position where we can actually make some electricity. So a brief run through of what we've got. We have a Range Rover radiator, a Bentley turbocharged six and three quarter litre engine running just on LPG, Land Rover prop shaft with some custom drive flanges, and then a three phase 50 kVA generator. So um, Vlad, do you want to come through and do the honors on the key? Fire it up. What about what health and safety? Hmm. We probably ought to consider health and safety. So we'll be right back with you. Okay, I, I think we've got health and safety covered. Hard hats, safety goggles, high vis. Uh, Steve, is the 101 ambulance up and ready to go? Yes! Excellent, and he's on fire duty as well. Holly's on first aid, ready to go with band-aids. So, Vlad, if you'd like to turn the keys and do the honours, let's see if she starts. It's a winner. I think that means we pass the health and safety test, so guys, Go back to building the gates. Okay, so health and safety passed. Uh, on a serious note though, there is a cover to go over the fan that cools the generator, which we will of course be installing, and we're also going to fabricate a, a hoop or two to go around the prop shaft. Not that we were expecting any issues, but it's best to be safe. So um, let's fire this up and see if we've got voltage and can power this drill. We've got 229 volts, extension lead wired into the alternator as well, so in theory, excellent. So what have we created here? Well, we can now go and drill holes wherever we like with this giant generator, which might be a bit overkill for that purpose to be fair, so what we're actually going to do is wire it into our four axis CNC machine we have across the workshop. Uh, so we can build the best ultimate street Rover V8 cylinder heads. Okay, so a bit of a technical feature here for those of you that are interested in what exactly we've done. A uh, Bentley V8 six and three quarter litre turbocharged engine out of a Bentley Mulsanne that we broke for spares. Uh, I think it was a 1983 model. Um, had the engine here still available, so when we were looking to build a generator to power our CNC machine, what better engine to do it with? Uh, running just on LPG, so we've got the LPG mixer here, uh, just before the turbocharger. We have one of our shrouds around the can and filter. The reason for that is because at low RPM there isn't a lot of vacuum here, so the shroud just helps create a little bit of vacuum, and as you can hear on the video, allows it to start no problem. Moving over, we have the vaporizer. Now the vaporizer is a dual stage vaporizer that we use on all of our LPG draw through systems on earlier carburetted engines and quite a few fuel injected ones as well. Uh, the R90 vaporizer is a dual stage as I said, so we've got a small section at the front for fueling the engine at lower RPM and the larger section on the rear which we'll hardly use on this one for higher RPM. We have to talk, set the RPM to 1500 on this, 1500 RPM gives us 50 hertz. So we've got a cheap rev counter from eBay, good old eBay here, just so we can set that manually for now. We will, however, be controlling it electronically via this heavy-duty servo. Uh, I've got a small computer that we've been programming for that, and that's pretty much working spot on. Uh, we'll do another feature on that later. Ignition-wise, of course, MagnaCore ignition leads. Absolutely essential to any engine upgrade, get the best spark possible down through to your spark plugs. Original Bentley magnetic pickup distributor. Now the fact it's got a magnetic pickup inside of it is ideal because we can use our amplifier with it. So the RPI amplifier over here, this is a dual timing addition uh, module. However, we only need the single timing of it because it's running just LPG, no petrol. So joining the LPG wire to our ignition feed just means we're running one ignition timing. Uh, if we move to the back of the engine, Okay, so at this end, uh, we've got the custom drive flange, one of the two that we made. Uh, we did a previous video of that here. That allows us to go from the rear of the crankshaft on the Bentley engine through to this shortened Land Rover prop shaft, and then onto the generator. Now, all of this metalwork here is for a bearing housing that we had to create. Now, it turns out you can buy a generator with a bearing at each end, a two-bearing generator. At the time of ordering, the supplier that we bought this from wasn't aware of that, they were aware of what we were actually trying to achieve here. 
so we ended up with a one bearing generator. But we enjoyed making this, Vlad had a great time and learned quite a few new skills, so it was well worthwhile. So with that centred, we're running true and through to the business end of the generator. So here we have 240 volts across these two poles, and then across these three poles we have the 415 volt three-phase electric that we need for our CNC machine. This little uh, pack of electrics here is an AVR, an automatic voltage regulator, and what this allows the unit to do itself is it, pretty cool. It allows a, a varied power supply to some of the windings internally, which means the magnetic field is adjusted, so if the RPM does fluctuate slightly, as the magnetism increases, the voltage goes up and vice versa, so it can control its own voltage. For the test we did just then in the video up for you, uh, we had the voltmeter just wired into uh, the 240 output here. Don't try this at home, this is by no way the best way of doing this, it was just a quick little connection we made for the video. Uh, and again, with the extension lead coming off of here, uh, I would not suggest that this is the way you wire an alt uh, alternator at all. Uh, there's probably lots of things on Google and things you can find how to do that. And then of course we just had the drill. So uh, hope you enjoyed all the videos we've made previous to this one and this one itself and as we get wired into the CNC machine we'll give you an update then.